Would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar? Oh, and would you like to know where we are? Well, follow me, because you're about to careen across the cosmos. Well, aside from being on planet Earth in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy, we're at the amazing Delta College Planetarium in Bay City. And if you're looking for it, don't worry, it's easy to find because it's a big orange fez smack dab in the middle of downtown. Trust me, you can't miss it. But that's a good thing because this giant orange planetary portal can take you to places in the known universe that were until recently unknown. And that's far. Now, before we cross the time-space continuum, whatever the heck that is, it's probably a good idea to check in with awesome astronomer and planetary manager, Mike Murray. Mike, I can't tell you how I've been looking forward to coming here. I mean, it's been a long time, shame on me, since I've been on a planetarium. But planetariums nowadays are so different, aren't they? They have completely evolved yeah. into these three-dimensional immersive theaters because the technology now lets them become a 3D universe. And so you can actually experience the universe the way it really is. Yes, so this planetarium was actually funded by NASA? The construction was all completely funded by a NASA grant that uh, Michigan U.S. Representative Bob Traxler helped to secure back in 1993, along with our then college president, Don Carlion. And so it was completely built, and now it is operated by Delta College. Yeah, I mean, it's talk about multidimensional. And, you know, it's just, it's incredible what you can do now. And I have to ask really quick, who designed the outside of the planetarium, because it's because it's amazing. I mean, you can't miss it. But and and what it doesn't it signify something? Absolutely, all of the elements of the planetarium architecturally are meant to be space themed. So the cone is meant to emulate a rocket nozzle, and the orange and red colors are the color of hydrogen in the atmosphere of the sun, and all the round planets and so round windows and so on. Wow. Yeah, it's. I love it because you can't miss it. <laughs> it's right, and it's right down. I mean, what is it? I mean, it must be so neat to have a world-class planetarium right downtown in Bay City. It's absolutely amazing that we have a planetarium of this caliber to serve this community. I know major metropolitan areas around the country that don't have planetarium facilities like this. Well, plus with today's technology and what we know, the new known universe. Um, it's what you're seeing is, well, first of all, what you're seeing is billions of years old, but mm -hmm. um, it's just amazing what all you can experience. And I love being able to take people there. You know, we used to have to stay fixed on the earth yeah. and now we can take them there and see close up in high detail and full color. What are these objects actually like? travel to the distant galaxies or even to our own solar system. I, that's what I love about people like you and Neil deGrasse Tyson is your passion for this. And everybody told me, wait till you meet Mike. He's, he's got <laughs> such great energy and passion for what you do. And how could you not? I mean, it's the universe. Well, and it's so exciting because there's always new discoveries coming in, which can reshape and reform our image of the universe and how we fit into it. And so I just find it fascinating. There's always something new that's coming along, especially like the James Webb Space Telescope. Some of the incredible things that we're able to see for the very first time. Well, let's go on a five-year mission. To explore. <laughs> right. To go where everyone has gone before. <laughs> right. Let's do it. As Dr. Demento said. <laughs> The day we were at the planetarium, they were featuring the ominous and foreboding black holes that haunt the universe. And it was an amazing multi-sensory experience, the likes of which I've never seen before. To be honest, I didn't realize just how fun, fascinating, and informative a modern day state-of-the-art planetarium can be. If you get a chance, check out some of the awesome upcoming shows at the Delta College Planetarium in downtown Bay City. I guarantee that your mind will be blown to the outer reaches of the universe. Also, if you get a chance, explore Michigan's entire Great Lakes Bay region, because it's one of the best places in the galaxy to live, work, play, stay, eat, and meet some of the nicest creatures on planet Earth. <laughs>